please start the recording. I clicked on start recording. No, Ravi, we can't record. Yeah, yeah, no, no, someone already started. I haven't done, yeah. but someone. I did it, Ravi. You did? Okay. For me, it is coming. Yeah, yeah. okay. So recording part, then you can only start, but OK, don't stop the recording until unless I will not stop. OK. So that part is now will be smooth, so you will not be dependent on me. And is there anyone uh, who is unable to install this AnyPoint Studio or this Postman? Of everyone install the endpoint studio and postman this is like straightforward these softwares are not very much complicated So before I will start, I will do a small recap for five minutes. I will do recap. If anyone will have any doubt, you can ask. Then I will start for today. So here we are trying to develop one API, Mule API, which will retrieve exchange rate from third party API and it will give our exchange rate value. OK, in exchange rate, we will pass from currency, base currency and amount. So that request will come to HTTP listener. OK, and what listener will do? Listener is generally used to expose our API to external world. OK, so this HTTP listener will create REST API and will help to expose our API to external world. Okay. Now, once that request will come, Mule event will be created. So this Mule event will come. Uh, this Mule event will contain at this moment, only query parameter since we are passing only query parameter. Okay. And then it will go to transform message. Okay. And then what, what it will do? This transform message will convert this request into required format. Okay. So what we are doing, we are converting that request message into We are converting that message into uh, Java format, application slash Java. Why we are converting in Java format? Since query parameter accept only Java format. So what we are doing? We are converting into Java format. Okay. So if I go to code wise, so this listener I configure, and then in transform message I converted into application Java. Then we need two from amount, so I converted in this three. I did this three transformation. After that, what we are doing, we are calling this third party API. Okay, so to call any third party API, we need again HTTP connector. Okay, if we want to consume any third party API, 
again we want http connector but this time operation will be requested when we are exposing it will be listener when we are consuming it will be requested once we will get response then in response we will get multiple data but we want only exchange rate value so again we will do one transformation and then we will send that response back through listener okay so yesterday somewhere we got error so i will check today let me see everything is fine here or not in requester part we configured method gate this is slash exchange data slash convert then query parameter okay someone mentioned correctly we are not passing headers okay so header was missing so one header when we are calling this third party api we need to pass one header if you remember our postman so from postman we try to call that api So if uh, this is the API, no? so we need this API key header. So either if you want, you can create earlier or you can create head, header here also directly. Click on this plus symbol inside key, put this header. Value, what will be value? Value will be this, okay. At this moment, I am not creating it from property file and all, but later on I will show you whenever we are configuring any hard coded value, instead of hard coding here, we can put inside property file. Okay, all those things we will learn slowly. Okay, those things are best, like uh, it's a you can say good practice, but whatever we did so far, this will also work. Okay, technically there is no error, but this is not a good practice. So I will show you instead of hard coding this value here, we can put this value inside property file and we can read this value from property file. That discussion we will do later on. At this moment, I just hard coded this value here. Okay, now everything is good. Then what we are doing in transform message, we are taking result from payload. So payload.result, we are taking this value. Okay, and then where we are passing, we are passing inside this exchange rate. Okay. As a response, we want JSON format, JSON data. So it will be application JSON. If I want XML data, then application XML. If I want JSON, application JSON. If I want Java data, application Java. So it's like that, we have multiple format. REST API support multiple format of message. So here we are going to use JSON one. Give this and deploy this. So well, this application is deployed. I have already created one postman curl for this. This is the postman curl. I will call this API. Okay. Once I will call, request will come to listener. Okay. Now here it will go to transform message. So in transform message, what we are doing, we are converting that data into one application Java format where we will have three value. Okay, so once we will execute this, you can see this payload got created. And here we have 
two INR from UST amount hundred. Now, once we will complete this one, we will get response from that third party API. Okay, so you can see here, this is the response we got from third party API that will come inside payload. This is inside payload, so we got this response. What I will do, I will take this result from here. So this is the payload. Then result will be payload dot result. So what we did here in this, we did mapping payload dot result inside exchange amount. Okay. So once we will execute this, after this execution, control will go to listener and listener will send that res response to front end system. So here. We don't have front end system, so we are using Postman. So you can see here. We got exchange amount this. Now if you will change this value, let's say I want to do for 200. So it should be double amount 16,400 something. OK, call this. And complete the process. I go here 16,443. So we are good with one first API. And what is the purpose of this API? It will like we are going to create one REST API which will consume third party exchange rate like a third party exchange rate provider. OK, and we'll get exchange value from there and we'll send to calling system. In this API, if anyone has any doubt or if you want me to Summarize this API from scratch to end again. Let me know. Otherwise, I will give one small assignment in class today. Let me know if anyone has any doubt, any part, or you want me to summarize this entire process again. Let me know quickly. Yes, yes sir. Extra we, we want we want you to summarize. Fine. Sir, basically, so uh, uh, we are not getting uh, sir, that uh, postman part, sir. How we are making that uh, API in the postman and uh, postman part, and how we are ma making the use of that API key in the payload. Yeah, exactly. API is Okay, fine. Uh, so, so, sir, we are getting. First thing. Uh, uh, first thing uh, so this is the third party API. Okay, so for this third party API, we are not doing any development. They already did development. They have hosted this API on server on internet. Okay. If you want to register and if you want to generate this API, then let's let's do this process also to make you more clear. So go to this website. Okay. So they are like some third party company. Okay. They used to provide many, many API. Okay. You know, like they are providing some kind of service. If you want, you can purchase their service. For trial one, they have given us free of cost. But when you will go on enterprise level, when you want to really want to use their API on your organization, you have to pay some amount. Okay, don't think if they have hosted, you will able to use free of cost. You have to take license, then you can use. For learning purpose, for this training purpose, we can use it free of cost. But once you will go on, on enterprise level, you can't use free of cost. They will charge you same amount. Okay, here you can see they are providing many API. What we want? Exchange rate data API. So they are providing number verification API, position stack API. It will give your geographical location. I'm not sure what is this cricket or what I'm not sure. So many kind of service they are providing. But we are going to use exchange rate one. Click on this. So here you can see. They have given demo like how their API response will be. If you remember, this is the same response structure what we got. Okay, they have given subscribe for free and live demo. If you want to see demo, then you can click on this. They will tell you entire step. And if you want to subscribe, then you have to select this one. Okay, now you can see their planning also. So free plan zero monthly, but only you will able to make 250 request. If you want to go on enterprise level, you have you need to make too many requests, then you need to take their plan. Okay. So for this email ID, I already used. So what I will do, let me try to create account for some other email ID. I have some dummy email. Let me use this one. So here 
subscribe click on this subscribe for free subscribe login with gmail So once invalid token, what happened? Due to some reason, it's unable to verify. Let me try to use different email. So this one is email belonging to someone else, but let me use it's okay. Hmm. There is something wrong with their website only. So they actually they did integration with Gmail authentication, but it's not working due to some reason. Let me try this option. But I don't have GitHub account for this email ID. So let's see how they are verifying. So asking GitHub. Can anyone else try this URL? If it, in any case, if it will work for you. If there is a website issue, then it will not work for anyone. But if it is my email issue, like yeah, email issue, or if it is my internet issue, then might be it will work for someone else. Oh, showing as an invalid token. Same issue. OK, then there is some issue with their website only. OK, so once you will register it, like, let's see, sign in only the. You're just what happened? Okay, they are going through this plan maintenance. Why they are in, okay? Maybe they they might be US based company, but early morning why they are doing? Generally, maintenance and all should happen in night time. But in US also, it should be morning, and in India also evening. I don't know. Fine, so there is something wrong with this uh, website itself. Once you will do sign up, you will get one API key, okay? And other things you will get from their documentation. Yes. So, they have given Node.js implementation. The symbol time set date. Get started base involved.
here you can see they have given postman curl okay so we are using we are not using live one we are using convert one this one okay this is the postman curl they have given for their api so what you need to do you need to take this curl go to your postman here you can see import option click on import and then go to raw text click on this and paste it here and continue import so you can see that api got imported only thing is here api key is your api key and how you will get your api key you will get it once you will able to do successfully registration due to some technical reason the maintenance is going on we are unable to do so once you will register you will get one api key that you need to capture okay and that api key you need to use here now everyone clear on this everyone clear on this part now yeah yes sir yes, so this part is done now uh, sir where we have to use that api key in studio in studio okay that part i will go okay let's do now one by one for me so here what we are doing front end system like they will call our mule api so this is the source system okay since we are going to expose our api as a rest api then we we will use http listener http connector is there and listener operation is there okay coming to this mule event okay whenever there will be any request whenever request will go to any mule component mule event will be created or updated so here one mule event will be created now in this mule event what all things we have we have attribute sorry we have message and we have variable and inside message we have attributes like query parameter uri parameter header okay we have attribute like this three or we have payload at this moment for this api we are passing only query parameter okay so we are having only query parameter in this mule event okay now coming to this transform message since we need whatever request we are getting we are getting from currency base currency but this target system needs something else target system need to from an amount so what if we did here we converted this from currency base currency into to from an amount okay and then we want to call this third party api so we will use http requester so http is connector but requested is operation okay so we will call we will use that particular com connector operation and then we will call this third party api okay once we will get response we will do transformation in code first we configure listener okay so where you will get listener so here you can see we have http connector inside that we have multiple operation but we want listener since we want to expose our api to external world so i will just drag and drop it here once you will drag and drop this component will come in this component what you need to do as i told you like this listener will provide one address to our api okay so in listener configuration if you go to listener configuration what we created at that time but it's already created now so we will click on edit so once you will add it so here you can see we are providing protocol protocol is nothing but it contains set of rule which govern data communication okay so for rest api it's a rest api support two protocol http and https you can use any one at this moment i used http then host so host you can like at this moment we are going to run this api on our local system that's why i used host as a 0000 if it will be on remote system then this host will have some different value okay now coming to port port you need to check in your local system what all ports are available by default in general 8081 to 8091 these ports will be definitely available but still if you want to make sure then you can click on test connection
later on I will tell you for this test connection. There are some limitation also in in few cases. This test connection will not work at this moment. It will work, but once that situation will come, I will let you know. OK, what it's saying? OK, you can see yeah, now. Why, yeah, correct. Since my application is running on the same port and I am trying to do test connection again. So once it will check now, then it will see OK, my system is already consuming this port. So it it give me this kind of error address already in used. OK, uh, address already in use. So if I will test with 8082, it will work, but I don't want to change since I am going to deploy redeploy same application. OK, so after that click on OK. Your this listener configuration got created. Go to message flow. Second thing what we need to do, we need to do this transformation. OK, so here I did that transformation in transformation. What I did, I written simple data web code. So data web code is not very difficult. OK, once we will take four or five class in data web. For data web, definitely we need minimum four or five class. For maximum, there is no limit, but I have one good resource. I will give to everyone. Once you will get basic understanding in data web. Like we will take five, six live session and then I will give you some recorded session to get in depth knowledge. OK. So here. We have this application slash Java since. We are creating this particular payload for query parameter and query parameter must be in Java format. OK, that's why I'm taking this format as a application Java. Now what all query? Yes. Ravi here uh, we have given base currency uh, query parameters dot base currency and uh, from currency. Uh, uh, can we give any other name different name like in currency or okay. out currency? Yeah, if you will give that then from here also you need to pass same. When you are calling your API. This is our API. So from here what query parameter you are passing from currency base currency. If you want to change the name then from here also you need to pass same name what you are going to change. Is okay. it clear? Yeah, yeah, OK. Well, any, any specific reason all query parameters should be in Java format only? Uh, that is the like every programming language follows some standards. OK, so that their compiler will able to understand the instruction. That's Sir, is why? it going to work if we if we gonna change the name like from from currency and base currency in the like in a postman because we have post uh, pasted that from the and particular website of particular URL. Uh, okay, so from so this is this is postman for our API. This is postman for third party API. Okay. Only for testing purpose we use this one. This postman whatever task it's doing here. This HTTP requester will do same task. Only okay. for testing purpose at the very beginning stage to make sure that API is working fine or not. I tested that API from Postman also. Uh, means Ravi, you have taken uh, the exchange rate uh, URL also from uh, Google only, no? Google? Sorry, I didn't means get Exchange rate uh, URL we have created no this one from currency 0 0.008081 port APX slash exchange rates. Yeah, this one. That one also you have taken from outside only. No? So this is the our API when we created listener. Okay, this is our listener, correct? Yes. When we created listener, we provided all this detail. Okay, if someone want to call my API, they need to pass 0000, 000 as a host. They need to pass 8081 as a port. They need to use HTTP protocol. OK, so you can see same thing. We are HTTP yeah. protocol 0000, 000, 000 8080. So we are defining. After okay, that, you some... have written that query parameter. From currency is equal to USD and all those things. Yeah, from currency, base currency amount. So oh, that one you have written in the URL. Yes. Like a query in, parameter. In URL, OK. First thing, hmm. whatever query parameter you will write here, automatically it will come. Oh, it will come there. Okay. 
first we need ID. to write in the params then uh, then it will reflect to the uh, yeah, url yeah. anything anything vice versa if you will write here it will reflect here if you will write here it will reflect here okay okay so if someone want to pass change this name yeah you can change this name there is no rule like we must need to pass from currency if you want to pass from that will also work but whatever so you sir, are basically passing, so sir so sir basically we have made first our own address and then we have bit transformation and then we have called the third api and then we uh, get the exchange rate right yes correct correct oh, okay Once we will do more API, then you will go. You will get more clear picture. But yeah, at this moment, your understanding is correct. Okay. So here, after this, what we are doing? We are calling this third-party API. Okay. So from Postman, we already checked how the, we will call this third-party API. So we need to pass API dot. This is the domain. This is the protocol. This is the uh, base path. Okay, base path we are giving here. And where we are giving the all this value, we have created one connector configuration. Here. Click on edit. So here we have given domain protocol. So this detail we have given here. Okay. And then this is the path we have given. A part of that to call, call this third party API, we seen we need to pass two more things. One is query parameter, another one is header. So we passed query parameter also. In query parameter, we pass we are passing payload. We already created that payload here. So we are passing that payload. And header, we are passing API key, which is required to call this API. Once we will get response from here, we will get result inside payload. So we are retrieving result from here and we will pass that value inside exchange amount. Okay. So it will create one JSON payload, this having value of result okay so we are getting like this yeah, Ravi, um, generally we will pass a, a payload from body section right why you are passing in query parameter in http okay. request so whenever you are calling any api you can pass data in four way okay to call any api you can pass data in four places first one inside query parameter second one inside header third one inside body and fourth one inside URI parameter. Okay, now based on the scenario, based on the situation, you need to pass data on different different places. If you are passing processing data, means you want to do some kind of processing on that data, you will pass inside body. If you are passing some supporting data, means metadata, then you will pass inside header. If you are passing any filter condition, okay, so these are the filter condition. If you will change from currency from USD to UK, like you have pond or something, then all these uh, like our response will change. So this is working as a filter condition. If you want to pass any filter condition, you should pass inside query parameter. And if you want to pass some unique identifier, let's say you are developing one API to retrieve customer information and your customer ID is unique identifier. Okay. So if you are passing customer ID as a unique identifier, then you should pass inside URI parameter. Now you will say, is there a hard and fast rule? You must need to follow this. Then answer will be no. You can pass any kind of data in any place. Technically, it will not give you any error. But only problem it will create to make your like some uh, for other people, it will be difficult to understand your API. Okay, so. Okay. As, as I mentioned at the very first class, this REST API follow REST architecture. Okay, in REST architecture, there is no rule. There is there is no like we don't have any kind of rule. Okay, we have only API governance. Governance means like you can say some standards. Okay, if you follow that standard, well and good. If you don't want to follow. Everything will work. Only thing, it will be difficult for other people to understand. Okay, but if if you like, if you are following SOAP API, if you are creating SOAP API, that we will discuss later on. That is not important. Very rarely you will work on SOAP API. That is outdated in market. 
but if you are creating any soap api then you must need to follow some protocol if protocol comes in picture you must need to do that otherwise your api will not work technically it will give you error is it clear okay. to everyone yeah yeah so we are getting this response Ravi, so hope we are passing header uh, so do we need to pass in the java format or json also works for headers header query parameter always java body and uri body you can pass as per requirement uri parameter there is no format it will be string only ravi please tell me about uh, that uh, what are the configurations we have to do for the uh, uh, request component once you show me again. Okay, request a component. This one, correct? So first thing you need yes. to create configuration. Okay, requester configuration, which contain protocol host and port. Protocol host and port. As we are using domain name, okay, in that case, you need to provide only domain inside host. You don't need to give any port. Okay, if you have, I have sorry, I have a query regarding of this uh, HTTPS yeah. protocol. Yes. Uh, uh, as of now, we are using that uh, protocol uh, that was just free as a service. Uh, if uh, that was uh, some um, like we are uh, we are getting some paid services like uh, some other uh, some other websites like they are providing those 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 URLs like. Uh, they are providing SSL certification where we can yes. provide that uh, certification details or else that uh, so, security layer details. So you are going on day 10. OK, we are at this moment. We are on date three. OK, so those things will come. OK, uh, there are many people. OK, I don't want to make this API very complex. That okay. those SSL certification and everything we will discuss on very high level when we will start project. OK, at this moment. Let's do on uh, simple and straightforward things, okay? To make everyone uh, understand what uh, what is going on, okay? That those things like uh, we will go in very advanced level, okay? Just wait for that. Okay, initial one first month things will not be very complex. We will go through basic thing. Second month onward, complex thing. Whenever we will start working on project, we will go on security policy deployment, CI/CD pipeline, everything. All the complex thing will come, okay? So for that, uh, I will suggest to wait for a few days. OK. OK, fine. So host will be here domain. As I mentioned, like if we have host and port, you can split that. If you have domain, you just need to pass in host. So here we did protocol and host. Rest of the thing we need to configure here. OK, once you will click on this. So another thing we need method. What method we will means for that api what method we need to pass so if you remember that api support get method so we did get path we have given since this is the base path of that api okay then we need to pass query parameter so we are passing query parameter here we have generated query parameter in java format inside payload so i am passing payload header we are passing directly. We need to pass this API key header, so we are passing it directly. Is it clear now? Sir, uh, this is what I'm not getting, sir, in the header part. Sir, how we are passing that, that API key? API key here, whatever data you pass, you need to pass in form of key value pair. Okay, this is the key, API key, and this is the value. Okay, and this is inside headers. So, Sir, whenever sir, we where call I get, this, sir, where, sir, where we get this value in Postman? Where you will get this API key and their value, correct? Yes, sir. So whenever you will register on their company website, okay? Just know I have point, correct? This is the company who is providing that API. Okay. When you will register on this company, okay? When you will register on their portal, then you will get one API key. They will give you one API key. Okay, due to some reason, their maintenance work is going on. So registration is not working at this moment. So it will be difficult for me to show you. Okay. 
but once you will do registration here just after the registration they will give you one api key and they will ask you to store that api key okay that same api key we are passing it here okay and what is the purpose of this api key with the help of this api key they are identify that request is coming from which user once you will do registration your one account will be created you will be one user of that api okay and for each user there will be unique api key different different api key so this will help them to understand request is coming from which user and that user is valid user or not if you will pass wrong different api key it will not work since that api key doesn't exist in their system so the purpose of this api key to make their api secure only registered user will be able to call their api and ravi uh, so you can hear me right sorry so it might also have a count of uh, uh, these requests with this api key yes yes correct so if you see their license term and agreement mm -hmm. so they have mentioned for free subscriber they will give only 250 request once you will make 251 request they will give you error okay and that is per month okay so sir uh, that's why i was not able to debug because i i don't have that api key sorry i missed your last question tell me again uh, so sir that's why i was not able to debug the entire project because i don't have that api key oh okay you can use my api key no? so that api key you will not able to generate at this moment since this website is not working for testing purpose you can use my api key what i have already registered i think other people also used my api key only correct few people already tested yes sir so okay. they used my api key only if you want i will give you this postman okay now we have this postman for this third party api okay so if i want to share with anyone what i will do i will click on this and here i will give this postman url curl click on this it got copied once i will share this you can copy same thing go to import go to raw text enter it paste it here and click on continue click on import so you will able to import directly you don't need to type everything so i am sharing this postman curl to everyone if someone want to use my api key you can use but yeah we have limit of 250 once it that limit will cross you will not able to use this so everyone once this site will be up so uh, go to this uh, website and do registration from yourself Okay, any other doubt? Sorry. Excuse. Yes, then. Anyway, we are giving that configuration details in the request connector, no? Then what is yes. the purpose of giving this, uh, again, this uh, configurations in the postman? Okay. This is uh, outside of, uh, means yeah. uh, this is rest yeah. API. So when we are giving all this detail from here in requester, so from here we are calling third party API, correct? Yes. Why we are using this requester? We are calling third party API from here. Yes. Okay. Now I developed my API. I want to test my API. My API getting request or not, it's doing required operation or not. So how we will call this API? So we need some platform from where we can call, we can test our API. So Postman is a software which help us to test any REST API. Likewise, we have multiple other software also like SOAP UI, then we have REST client. So two, three softwares are there which help us to test any kind of REST API. No matter it's a local REST API, what I develop, or no matter it's already available on internet. Is it clear? Okay. For testing purpose only. Yeah. yeah. Okay. At this moment, we will not develop front-end application, correct? So we are not front-end developer. Okay. That doesn't mean we should not test our API. We should Means test when our we, API. When we do the run running part of that uh, 
Mule application, it won't take the data from the postman. It will take the request from the request component itself. Whatever the configurations we we done already. Okay, so I'm not uh, this part. I'm not clear. Means uh, actually, you, you, this is uh, you are saying that only for postman is uh, only for testing purpose of the REST API, sir. Yes. Means uh, in our application right now, you have mentioned the request component, no? In yes. that only yes. you have given every configuration of this REST uh, API. Yes. Means that whatever the flow we are having when you are going to execute that one, it will take the data of the third party API by using the REST request component only. It won't take from the postman. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Means whenever request will come. Okay, someone will call our API. No matter they will call our API from Postman, they will call our API from web page, they will call our API from mobile application. From wherever they will call our API, our API will call third party API using this requester. Okay. Ravi, uh, you should be able to get the response with your Chrome browser now, right? The same uh, response. This is the get call. Yeah, get call. I think we should. You Let me try with Chrome. So this is the get call. Get call you can get for post and all. I think you will not. So same API like our local API we are calling from browser directly. Cannot reach. Fine. Uh, there might be some configuration or something required. So will not waste time here. Any one tool is fine. So we already tested from one of the famous tool, Postman. So that is fine. If everyone clear, then I will give one small. Okay, first, uh, is there anyone who has worked on this API and you are facing any issue you want me to show? Like you want me to see that issue? If not, then let me give you one small assignment, okay? And then everyone need to work on that assignment. So, which API we will call? REST API for testing. So there are multiple API available on internet. Let, let me try some other website. But only things, uh, only pro problem with this uh, like uh, free API. There will be many people keep using this API, so sometime you will get. Okay, Let's see, error record page not found. This kind of problem you will get. Too many requests. Yes, many users are calling this API. So let me try to search some other website. Ravi, you can try other APIs. Okay. Other API for testing. See here also they are they need API key and for API key I need to do a registration and here they are asking payment details so I don't want to give payment detail let me see any other API which are not they are not asking for any payment. Okay. 